This is Duffy Dyer's first year with the Pirate Organization, coming in a trade with the New York Mets. Duffy, uh, what are some of the differences that you see with the Pirates versus the New York Mets? Well, the main difference is the Met Organization, their strong point is pitching. They usually have trouble scoring a lot of runs. While I was there, their offense was not all that strong. They played a lot of low-scoring ball games because they depended on their good pitching staff. Where the Pirates, their main strength is their offensive attack, their hitting. They got six or seven guys in that lineup that are very good hitters, and they score a lot of runs. So I, and in spring training, I noticed that uh, they emphasize hitting a lot more than the Met organization did. You get a lot more batting practice, and they work with their hitters a lot more than the Mets did. The thing I'm surprised at most about the Pirate organization is the strength of their pitching. They're getting very good pitching, and I think that's definitely why we're in first place now. I think their pitching staff is very underrated. But uh, the reason it is is because they don't have one or two pitchers that are overpowering or strikeout pitchers, such as the Mets have a Seaver and a Kuzman and a Matlack. But uh, the Pirates have six or seven pitchers that all come in and do a good job. The Mets themselves have had their ups and downs over the last couple of years, but uh, they're having a lot of problems this year, aren't they? Well, right now they've made a few trades, and they, I think, hurt themselves as far as their bullpen goes. They trade away Tug McGraw, and they are counting on a lot of young kids who don't have any big league experience, and I think uh, it's uh, hurting them right now, and they have had a couple of pitchers that have come up with a sore arm. but. Uh, so their pitching, which is their strength, has not been all that good so far, but I still think that they're basically a good ball club. They play good fundamental baseball, and uh, I think they might have a chance to be up near the top uh, when the season's over. Pirates have been winning consistently of late, with the exception, I guess, of that three-game uh, run with the Philadelphia Phils. Uh, are, the, are the Phils that threatly, with, threatening with Lasinski and company? Uh, that they're able to knock out the Pirates three in a row? Oh, they have a good ball club. There's no doubt about it. I think they're going to be in it all the way. A very good offensive club. They have uh, pretty good pitching. I don't think their pitching is all that good, but it's pretty good. And they seem for some reason to be extra tough in Philadelphia. I don't know why. We go in there and uh, maybe it's our attitude or something, but uh, we don't play well when we go to Philadelphia. We just sort of sit back and wait for something to happen against us, and it always does. You, we sort of play defensively there where... Uh, when we play them here, we play the Phillies pretty strong, but uh, I don't know what it is about their stadium, but as soon as we get in there, we just sit back and wait for something to go against us, and sure enough, it does. What about this team you're playing tonight, the Dodgers? They took the uh, the National League West last year and the uh, National League cut it itself. How do they impress you this year? They have a great ball club again this year. Uh, basically the same personnel with a year more experience. The thing that difference is, I think, is injuries. They've had a lot of key men hurt this year. And I think it's finally caught up with them. They were playing well when we played them the first time around. And they had Russell out and a couple other guys were out. Marshall was out at the time. But uh, they're back now and uh, they're playing pretty good baseball. It's just that they're not playing as bad as everybody seems to think they are. It's just that Cincinnati is playing so great, winning like 20 out of the last 25 games. So it's uh, tough to keep up with that pace. But I still think it'll be a two-team race in the West. Duffy, thanks for your comments. You're quite welcome.